do have to do Thank you for my concern. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological areas. All that's associated with hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression? Word of the wise. Read again. Keep it to yourself. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider New the fact adventure. that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us, kept us safe in those hard scrambled years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning actions. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expounded. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human purposes, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have fought us quick and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us powers. They have turned our eyes toward the sky. Let me assure you that the suppressing fear will be shut off on the day we have mastered ourselves. The day that we have mastered And that day is starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were cops. He's one of us. I also detect some Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. What gives them the right to make this kind of decision? I can't take it anymore. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. All citizens and local residential blocks. Assume your inspection position. Exit that location. We've got to go through Get in here, quick. Get moving. Head for the roof. Dr. Freeman, I presume. I'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep...
keep him here long, Doc, it'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they control. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there, over there, and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold characters to C1 base and LT orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Throw your switch, Gordon. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. For yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. 
Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your head of freaking head humper! Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you'd drop this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here.
Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend Attention. here give you a jolt to get you going. Status invasion in progress in this community. Response. I don't Inquire. Be careful. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We the same. Report counter behavior to a civil protection unit. Inquire. Civil
Thank you. 